Santilia with the fast of the starts, the Collingwood athlete there. She goes up to the shoulder, Malat, chasing them on side is Francis, and out wide you've got Bo Jock and Zatseva. They hit the straight, and now Jessica Malat unwinds a long stride in Sandringham Jr. She's put five metres on them very quickly down the straight. Jock's chasing with Santilia, but Malat opens the gap out to 10 metres by the finish. Malat, the junior, very impressive. Jock through next, Santilia, Bo. The Glen Huntley athlete out wide, Zat Seva, and rounding out that field, Abby Francis. Jessica Malat, conservative first 50, got going, swung into the straight. And 24.09, so 24.09 for Jessica Malat, unofficial there to take victory in our women's A heat. So even start from this field, possibly the one there, Aya of Melbourne University. She's taken the stagger out of the outside and on her side, Amanda Rout now being the challenger. And the tall figure now of Sienna Farrell coming into action. So Farrell, a bit like Malat in the last heat, moving her way down the straight. Very strong Australian footballer she is and here she is powering away over 200 metres. So Sienna Farrell will take it. Rout's going to hang on for second in front of Aya just. Ma was next, Shakira Harding. Ashara Ross, Faith Little and Nina Lawson round out our women's B 200 metres. But Sienna Farrell, tall and strong. It's an evening for the long-legged juniors. 25.06 for Sienna Farrell. So that'd be a big personal best there for her also. So Sienna Farrell, 25.06 winner at the women's 200 metre B heat. So even start might be Mia Spencer, it is in the pink short there, who's taken the stagger out of Charlie Sullivan early. Chasing from behind, Jennifer King of Glen Huntley, we saw in the hurdles earlier, and she'll be the challenger to Mia Spencer down the straight. So King now moves past Spencer. It's a ding dong battle in fact, Spencer's not gonna give up on it and fighting them now, Charlie Sullivan comes into the battle. Charlie Sullivan, can she catch Spencer? No, Spencer. She's been good on the pro circuit there. She's winning here at Doncaster tonight. Jennifer King, Charlie Sullivan, Hayley Buckley, Kayla Barrett and Catherine Wilcock. We'll wait for a time. But Mia Spencer, strong start. 2650, unofficial there for Mia Spencer. Strong start, strong finish, hell on. So good start from Patsouris on the inside, very even from the other fours. Emma Carr now being joined, Patsouris. And then we've got the two South Bendigo athletes, two Go sisters there, battling out with Emma Carr at the moment in second. But it's no doubt about our leader at the moment, Aris Patsouris from Preston, moving away from the field. The first of the South Bendigo sisters there, Bell Go in second. Out wide, Ashley Rook of Yarra Rangers in a battle for third. Can Go flew on later, I think she might have outdipped in the line. Bell Go might have just taken it. Aris Patsouris and her very close in the line. We'll wait photo finish to confirm that one. Emma Carr, Ali Gayu and Ashley Rook. Lane five was the winner, Belle Gayu, with a strong last 50 metres. 27-0-0. So good start there, Jasmine Jaray. We saw her in the triple jump and the hurdles earlier. And she's gonna be chased down on the inside here by Jamison Harding, who won that earlier hurdles heat. So Harding on the inside, Jaray out wide from Box Hill. These two around the 29 second mark we're looking at. So Jamison Harding, the head flying side to side. She puts everything into this race against Jaray. Harding though, she powers away over the last 20 meters. We'll just get Jaray through the finish. Good run indeed. Maria Carr Hill will be through next. Svetlana Korchova the third. But Jamison Harding takes the double tonight, the hurdles and the 200 metres.
still in the play. Yeah. Yeah. 28-09, I reckon that's a big personal best there for Jamison Harding, 28-09.